Fire, uncontrolled, can be a terrible enemy that sweeps through forests and cities. Preventing and suppressing fires is the work of highly trained professionals. People choosing careers with the fire department dedicate themselves to work which includes excitement and danger, and which demands responsibility. Efficient fire department is a combination of trained professional firefighters and specialized equipment necessary to meet the demands of modern firefighting. Most cities have a long history of firefighting. Around 1910, fire departments began to use motorized equipment. Soon the last fire horse was retired, and fire departments became mechanized. Today, fire departments are responsible for the protection of thousands, even millions of people, and an increasing number and variety of structures. Modern technology has introduced many new substances which are highly flammable, and new processes which are potentially dangerous if anything goes wrong. These dangers include not only that of fire, but also the escape of noxious or deadly gases and fumes. Because of today's rapidly changing technology, men who choose careers in firefighting must be trained to cope with a vast number of complex situations. The first four years of training are comparable with an equal amount of study at the college level. Firefighting techniques and equipment must be thoroughly mastered. Training for a career in firefighting is offered at an increasing number of colleges. After he has completed his intensive preliminary training program, a firefighter finds that he must continue to study and learn in order to keep up with changing technology. There are new types of fires he may be called upon to suppress, and new equipment he will be required to use. A modern firefighter must be thoroughly familiar with more than 500 articles of equipment. This includes aerial ladder trucks, airport quick dash units, quints or quintuplet combination pumpers, commonly called snorkels, triple combination pumpers, specially built airport fire and rescue trucks, light generating units, 100-foot aerial ladder trucks, water tankers, mobile kitchen and command posts, as well as other rigs and smaller equipment used in fire suppression. At the scene of a fire, two things are immediately apparent. Teams of career firefighters work in close coordination to bring the situation under control. No matter how difficult or how dangerous the operation, there is no hesitation, never a sign of panic. It is a scene of action, dedicated men working hard at the dangerous job for which they have been trained. When a fire is extinguished, the work of fire crews is not complete. 
The effort to save as much as possible includes the dirty work of cleaning up. A fire career offers the opportunity to specialize in several areas. Fire investigators make a detailed analysis to find the causes of fires. Another specialization within the fire department is that of inspector. Inspection of all commercial and public property eliminates hazards and allows preparation of advanced firefighting plans. Inspections are a part of fire prevention, a never-ending job for firefighters. Box is stacked neat. Everything is up off the floor. There's been no evidence of trash or any other debris laying around. Uh, what I would like you to do is post these no-smoking signs in the areas that we had discussed. And by the way, those boxes are much too close to the sprinkler head. They'll have to be taken down, keep at least 18 inches clear. As part of prevention programs, it is not unusual for specialists of the fire department to work with architects in planning for structural fire safety. Personnel and equipment specialization is found wherever it is needed. For example, a fire department shop has converted this surplus army six-wheel drive truck into a special rig for rough terrain. Airports have the added protection of a special foam truck. Firefighters who specialize in rescue work must be proficient in the use of many types of equipment. Rescues many times calling upon all the firemen's life-saving knowledge and skill are among the most critical jobs. Fire career specialties of investigation, inspection, and rescue are less visible to the public than the actual fighting of fires. But there is also much behind-the-scenes work in firefighting. When a call is made reporting a fire, a highly sophisticated series of events is set in motion. Fire department. I want to report a fire. The call is received at a communication center. In many large departments, this is computerized. Yes, sir, what's the address of the fire? I don't know, but it's in the middle of the block. What street? Vermont Street. And what's on fire, sir? It's a canyon, and it's running close to a couple of houses. Thank you. Hold on. This information is fed into the communication center's high-speed digital computers. The computer system provides a constant status of all information pertaining to the city's fire equipment and defenses. In a fraction of a second, the computer system accomplishes several functions. It displays the status of all available equipment to the dispatcher. It presents the location of the fire, the type of structure, the degree of alarm, and the location of the nearest fire station. The dispatcher checks the information, then presses a transmit switch and a tone key. The transmit switch causes the computer to dispatch the information to the station nearest the fire. The tone key alerts the crews at the stations. The dispatcher uses voice transmission to indicate the proper equipment. computer system automatically indicates that these units are now assigned to an incident and are not available if another emergency should occur. Time from first alarm to arrival averages about four minutes. The first unit on the scene radios in additional information. 
this new information is fed into the computer, which analyzes the situation and indicates currently available equipment, location, and status. With this information, the dispatcher can quickly send out additional men and equipment if necessary. In open brush areas, there is always the potential of a major fire disaster. In such an event, roads may be closed, water mains destroyed, and firefighting equipment put out of commission. The computer then works with other firefighting agencies to provide them with instant details on all available forces and equipment, as well as all open routes to the scene. Firefighters occasionally have to work long hours before a large fire can be put out. At a fire station, a duty day is usually 24 hours. The time is scheduled for training and for care of equipment, but stations maintain the capability to answer alarms at any time. At each station, facilities are provided for the personal requirements of the men. As our cities grow, more and more people and buildings need the protection of highly trained fire professionals. Those who choose this profession find a challenging and often exciting career.